My name is Joseph, and I play drums for A Lot Like Birds. And uh, this is a Gretsch Renown Maple. Uh, it's a vintage pearl finish. I prefer a wrap on tour because it takes the wrap around the shells uh, because it takes a lot less uh, damage. The lacquers tend to crack a little easier, even though they're a little more beautiful and uh, aesthetically. But um, it has these cool walnut hoops on the kick drum, and uh, the the maple sound that Gretsch makes. Uh, uh, the sound the maple drums make is just unreal. Um, it's always been unreal, and this is kind of their modern twist, and uh, it's it, it's an amazing kit. So I just love the way it projects. Um, it cuts through. It's still fat. Nice has a nice woody flavor to it, but um, still cuts through the guitars and uh, the bass and all that. So um, let's start with the snare drum. This is a Gretsch six and a half by fourteen hammered brass. Uh, the I like hammered. Actually, brass is the only alloy snare drum that I, I like. It has wood characteristics while still having the projection of metal. And then, um, and then I like uh, I like the the depth because with six and a half, uh, any deeper and it loses some attack and personality, and any thinner and it loses a little bit of depth and, uh, and deepness to it. So six and a half is for rock and pop. Uh, it's kind of my ideal depth. Um, and then. Uh, so rack tom, this is a 10 by 7. It's these these toms are a little shallower than your typical rack toms, but uh, I kind of like the way that is. I was a little skeptical at first, but uh, once I got the kit, there is a little more attack than body. But I fell in love with the way they sound, um, and once you really you know wear them in on tour, they, they sound amazing. I've done some studio sessions with these particular ones, and they sound great. So this is seven deep instead of eight, and this is a 12 by eight instead of nine, which is the tip where the typical size is. Um, and this is a 16 by 14, it's 16 inch tom, 14 inches deep, uh, all renowned, I think, gum maple, or uh, renowned maple, um, with their uh, th uh, 35, 30, 35, I think, degree bearing edge, uh, instead of a 45, which is awesome. And there's silver lining on the inside, which is a beautiful touch, so. Kick drum, this is a 22 inch by 18. Uh, 22 was, it's kind of the best middle ground, you know, 20 inches have a little more attack, 24 have a little more boom, but 22 is like the perfect in between, which is why it's the most common. Uh, I really like the 18 inch depth, it gives a little more body, um, and uh, again, this incredible renowned maple sound is just, Gretsch is famous for the kick drum just sounding unreal, I mean, you, you barely touch it, you know, put heads on it and tune it up with a Remo Clear Power Stroke 3 and it's just, it's like butter, it just fills the room. Um, so in love with this kick drum. Okay, so I use a controlled sound X coated on the snare drum, a Remo controlled sound X. Uh, it's still one ply, or, um, which makes it more sensitive, but it has a little bit more, th uh, it's a little thicker um, than a th general single ply heads. At, I can't remember how many mil, it's like 12 or 14 mil or something. It has a dot in the middle for a little bit of dampening effect, a little less ring. One of my favorite snare heart on the market right now. Um, vintage Emperors on the toms, I like clear and coated, but I prefer clear live because again, I'm trying to cut through the bass and guitar frequencies, and so the clear heads allow me to do that uh, live better. I, I generally like coated on recordings a little more, but um, clear ambassadors on the bottom for the resonant heads, and kick drum, uh, I uh, have a, I've always used clear, Remo clear Power Stroke 3 on the batter and uh, Power Stroke 3 on the, the resonant. And I deviate sometimes, experiment around, but this is just, it's just the most genius combinations I've always used. I've uh, been a Zildjian fan since I was 12 years old. That's 20 years of playing Zildjian cymbals. Uh, I have a, I'll start over here. Crash cymbal, this is a, this is an A medium thin crash, 20 inches. Uh, I used to always play A custom only, but I, I tried this in a shop once and just blew my mind. It's super, super big, but nice and buttery. Um, I really like this 21 inch medium thin uh, anniversary A custom ride, great ride symbol. Um, and then I, I've always used a 19 inch A custom crash on my left side, always kind of my accent symbol. Um, and then I have a Z Master Sound bottom hi-hat, which you can't buy anymore. That's a, that's a really cool piece that I, I really like the thickness of it. And then a master, uh, a, an A custom uh, Master Sound on top, uh, 14 inch hi-hats. Yeah, so I've always, uh, I've always been a huge fan of DW hardware. Um, I've, I went through a lot of different companies when I was younger, but uh, the, the 9000 series feels great, 
Uh, moves great and lasts forever. I mean, I think I've had these 9,000 boom stands for like 10 years. They've been on like 13 full US tours and I've never replaced a single part of them. Uh, they're extremely easy, easy to flex and move and get exactly where you want them. Nice and beefy. Uh, I have a 9000 series single single kick pedal. Uh, trusty kick pedal that I've used for, <laughs> I've used that model almost my whole life and it's just, I can't imagine using anything else. Uh, 9000 series hi-hat stand. Um, just feels like butter, you know, nice response and super beefy, very, very sturdy. Sticks, um, Vic Firth, just, I mean, I've, again, I've tried so many different kinds of sticks, so many, so many models and companies, and ultimately Vic Firth, just the most balanced and perfect center. Oh, that's, that's not, that was a gift, actually. These are, these are no-name sticks. <laughs> so these, uh, these five Bs are just, they're just fat enough and they're just light enough to get everything you want done with them. Um, I even play lighter music at home with these, um, but I come on the road and just literally beat the crap out of them and they feel so good. So uh, 5Bs, Vic Firth, um, amazing company by the way. So uh, serious shout out to West Tone. They are an amazing company and um, these are the ES60s. They're uh, six drivers and they just, I mean, I don't know a lot of the science behind it, but I have gone through other in-ear companies as well, and these are just the best I've ever tried, sound, heard, uh, used. Um, it's, it was their flagship line for a while, now they have the ES80s, which now I'm, I'm trying to gun to get those, and these will be my backup pair, you know, but these ES60s are just incredible, and they're also an amazing company. Their artist support is unreal. Uh, we've had we've had some, you know, you have little issues here and there just from wear and tear, and send them in and they fix them and take good care of you. Um, they're an awesome company, so amazing uh, engineering in these. So. Uh, thanks for checking out all our equipment and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we just released our full length, our, our fourth LP Divisi on May 5th. Uh, definitely go check it out, let us know what you think and uh, come see us on the road. We will be on the road constantly, so see you later.